Okay guys, so first and foremost I want to say that if you notice my voice is very deep, that is because I have a very sore throat and you may be wondering why there hasn't been so many videos this week, that is why. And also if you're here because you like the gecko videos and you're annoyed at all these caterpillar videos, well these have been filmed a little bit in advance so all I have to do is edit them whereas the Gecko ones I've yet to film, but there will still be an FAQ Friday, which will be tomorrow, so you'll see a gecko then. But there's a lot of caterpillar stuff going on, and I'm rambling, so let's get on with it. So, a lot of you guys asked me what happened to the elephant hawk moth larvae uh, after I filmed it the other week. It is doing very, very well. So, first of all, I set up its little house. I read that it likes fuchsia and I happen to have some fuchsia in the garden. I don't know if it preferred leaves or the actual plants or the flowers I mean. So I just put both in anyway and I put a bit of bamboo in there. Now by the looks of things I could see that it probably wouldn't be too long before it turned into its pupa stage because it was very big and had all sort of the features of what a caterpillar should look like before it turns into a pupa and I was not wrong with that one because the next day I saw it producing silk and moving leaves about and I thought okay it's ready so I set my camera on it for three hours yes a few times I did forget it was still filming <laughs> but yeah in total it was about three hours and I had to speed up this footage by 76 times so it is still quite long footage but trust me it could have been longer so um basically all the things that are moving in this video is purely because of the caterpillar I did not interfere at all and you'll notice it's incredibly resourceful because it will use like every single part of the leaf and every single part of the flower and it's just just incredible to watch so even though it's quite long I hope you enjoy it like now and what I think's happened is he's made himself like a protective tent 
shall we say, out of all the leaves and plants. And from what I can see when looking underneath the tank, it looks a bit like a mess, but I'm assuming that it has turned into a chrysalis because after Googling it, a lot of people actually get these in chrysalis form. They do obviously turn into chrysalis and um, they're pretty massive. Unfortunately, we can't see that because he has protected himself, but it's a cool thing to see. Um, the thing about hawk moths, what I was reading, is they can remain in this chrysalis until spring. Yeah. So the next update might be 2016. Who knows? Um, it's pretty crazy, but basically if they hatch out now when it's cold and there's no nectar about, they'll just die so it doesn't make sense. However, right now we're just in autumn and although it gets very cold at night, we've had a few days where it's just randomly got really hot in the day. So I'm hoping there are still plants out there for him if he does hatch out. Um, by the way, I've called him Harry. Harry Hawkmoth. So um, we're hoping Harry hatches now and has like a successful time, but if not, he's gonna have to remain in there till next year. That'll be fun. Before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Owen Bear. And thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and goodbye.